application has a huge role to play in getting the right product in the right place at the right time. Syngenta has pioneered some of the great innovations in application technology. And one of the most revolutionary designs was the advent of the 3D nozzle. It was only a matter of time then before we were set the challenge to develop the exceptional performance of the 3D nozzle with all the great application advantages of 90% drift reduction technology. So, to start, I caught up with my colleague, James Thomas, to understand how we go about creating such a nozzle. Well, there's been a big focus on 90% drift reduction, and we've proved that 90% drift reduction nozzles can deliver good efficacy, but we want to take that and couple it with the 3D nozzle family's technology to bring a solution that's great for operators and for growers. Sounds great. What do we do now? Well, we need to optimise the angle of the nozzle for the droplet size we're creating to achieve the drift reduction rating. So I've come here to Jellets Hill in Berkshire to our international research station to meet Alan Cochran, an R&D application technology specialist. I've been involved in the testing of the 3D90 since the earliest days of its development. We put it through a vast array of tests and we have some of the most precise and accurate instruments here to make sure that nozzle performance is there in the lab. We've run dozens of tests with thousands of samples taken from the deposition samples, which we've then washed and analysed in the lab. We've looked at it using the laser diffraction instrument for droplet sizing and we've made sure that we minimise the amount of driftable fines, so we minimise the drift potential of that particular nozzle. We have a track sprayer here at Jellets Hill that we can set up any spray parameter we would like to see in the field, but in a lab situation. We can change the forward speed, the pressure, and the angle of incidence of the, the nozzle itself. So how does the 3D90 compare to other nozzles you've tested? So in the case of the 3D90, we looked at the angle and we changed it incrementally until we came to the maximum amount of deposit we could get onto the target. The angle of 55 degrees seems to be the sweet spot for the 3D90 nozzle. From the testing we've done, conducted here at Jellets Hill, I personally believe it's a real step change in product deposition. Now we've seen how we arrived at the optimum angle for the 3D90. I've come here to Hypro's Cambridgeshire Design and Development Centre to see how the nozzles are built and tested. Well, the first step is to do some CAD modelling. Then we go to the 3D printer to make several thousand polyacetyl nozzles. How are these designs tested during development? We've got an optical measuring machine that's accurate to two microns. We've got a laser droplet analyzer, and that allows us to know exactly what the droplet spectrum is. And finally, we've got a patinator, and that's essentially a section of spray boom where we check the evenness of spray of a series of nozzles and we're looking for a patination, a coefficient of variation of less than 7%. And that means that between even as low as 35 centimetres right up to 75 centimetres, we're going to get good even distribution. That gave us something that was robust enough to hand to Syngenta for a season's worth of spraying. And that gave us some really good quality information at a very early stage in the nozzle development. The final design is more compact and more elegant. It's got three components, a pre-orifice that meters the flow, a tip that makes the pattern, and the body that produces the incline. Because the nozzle is specific to the 3D90, every 3D90 is going to get delivered with its own cap. So here we try the 3D90, James. What do you think? Yeah, it's been fantastic, Harry, to see all the work that's gone in in the laboratory with the development experiments. But ultimately, we wanted to test it in field to understand how the nozzle performed. And the results have been fantastic uh, right across all the European trials that we've carried out.
We took the nozzle to Silso spray applications unit here in the UK to get independent validation for the 90% drift reduction rating or its four star Lee wrap approval. And I'm really pleased to say that we got that approval and it is certified as a 90% nozzle. Fantastic news. It is. We're looking to make a better experience for the operator with the new nozzle. I find the key advantage is being able to go out on a spray day any given time in the autumn and be able to put a pre-em on. We can go and get the job done when it needs to be done, not when the weather's dictating to us. It gives us a lot more flexibility. They're a game changer. So here it is. What we've been working towards and what you've been waiting for. The perfect marriage between a 3D angled nozzle and 90% drift reduction capability. See you in the field.